The worst feeling in the world is when you go to install an update for Apex Legends and your computer gives you an error saying you're out of storage space. And then you have to go through this really long, laborious process of figuring out what you have on your hard drive, what you have to keep on your hard drive, and what you can get rid of. And oftentimes you end up having to uninstall games or get rid of videos or files that you don't really want to get rid of, but you have to in order to install the program that you want to install. This is the exact problem that I've been having for the last several weeks of me recording YouTube videos. I am constantly bumping up against the max limit of my hard drive capacity in my computer. Now, because of that, I have doubled down, done the research and figured out the best solution, which is a storage server. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but for those of you who don't, a storage server is basically just a computer that has a very large amount of storage capacity that you can move files over from your desktop so in my case, as you'll see, I built a storage server that has a little bit over 40 terabytes worth of storage space, which after redundancy ended up where somewhere around the range of 20 terabytes worth of actual usable space. Now, for those of you interested in the slightly more technical side of things for this build, I used a Ryzen 5 1400, a generic graphics card, a PCI adapter that gave me 10 SATA ports, nine four terabyte drives and six two terabyte drives. Now, if you're like me, your first question is probably how on earth did you fit that many hard drives? drives in a single PC case. And the answer is I used a full tower case that I had laying around in just my closet that I had extra. This case by itself had six hot swappable hard drive bays, but since it was an older case, it also had four 5.2 inch bays that I could convert into more hard drive space. So I bought a little adapter for this that allowed me to put four more hard drives there, which meant I had a total of 10 now. For the other six hard drives, all I did was make special cages for each of them to go in different places in the computer so that they would be safe and secure and wouldn't move around since they are mechanical hard drives. In addition to all the storage drives, I also threw in an SSD to boot the computer off of. I did do a lot of research about what operating system I wanted to use on this computer. And that's kind of just because there are so many different options that are all free for what to use for a NAS build. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that free NAS was probably the best way to go. It just seemed like that was what everybody else was using. And it also seemed pretty simple to set up. There are a whole lot of tutorials out there on how to set up free NAS, so I won't bore you with that. But here's an epic montage of the computer build. The only thing I didn't read about before building this computer that you might want to know before trying to use FreeNAS is that you can only set up pools of storage with hard drives that are the exact same size. So in my instance, because I had so many four terabyte drives and so many two terabyte drives, I couldn't splice it all together. I had to actually make two separate pools and have two separate 
file shares that I added to my computer. For me in particular, it's not really a big deal. I just wanted to mention it in case it may have been pertinent to you. In total for this build, I spent $600 on hard drives, $90 on a CPU, $60 on the PCIe to 10 SATA port card, $30 on extra SATA cables, $35 for the 5.25 inch bay uh, converter to the four hard drive, $67 on a motherboard from Amazon Marketplace. I bought it used, refurbished, it came in, works perfectly. $12 on a CPU cooler and then a seven dollars on just some extra power cables that i needed for my power supply in total i spent around 900 dollars for this complete build you can actually get the exact same storage space by buying two 20 terabyte hard drives and the cost is exactly the same the difference is i get an entire computer out of it that is set up to store 16 hard drives whereas the other option only gets you two hard drives and you have to find some way to plug them into your computer. So the point I'm trying to make is that by going this route with a storage server build, you open yourself up to a lot of expandability later on. So sure, it might not have a whole lot of storage space right now as far as storage servers go, but it has 16 different places for me to put hard drives and I can expand it up to however much I want. To. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, I am never ever going to need that much storage space, but I still kind of want a network attached storage device, you should go watch this video right here that shows you exactly how to do that as budget friendly as possible.